I'm Mike Griffiths and I'm the executive head of the Imperium Federation. That includes both Waterside, SAMH Primary, N Nurture, Nest and Nook, and also Kings Oak Secondary, SAMH, which is currently for boys, but from September will be co-educational. So all kids can come and work at lunchtimes with my children, who are SAMH children. That means that there's social, emotional and mental health needs. Um, they come and demonstrate and model good behaviour, um, cooperation, team games, team spirit, um, and they play a variety of games with my children and they help model that for my staff so that they are able to carry that on. When we first started changing how Waterside worked, um, playtimes were a real problem for us. Um, children with SEMH behaviours can normally be contained quite well within a classroom but as soon as they've got an outdoor space where they've got to negotiate the feelings and, and stuff of others that's when it becomes difficult and for a year we noticed that the behaviours were becoming more settled within school but they weren't so settled outside so getting all kids can in helped us try to model what we were expecting both in the classroom and outside of the classroom it gave my staff a break because at that time my staff were working from the minute the kids came in through the door till the minute they went home. Um, and what we noticed within the first six weeks was the behavioural incidences within playgrounds had stopped and gone down. So we were no longer getting any um, falls, which we used to, to say that the children had been violent or overly aggressive, and they were moving down towards the threes and the twos. And now, after um, working with All Kids Camp for some time, the vast majority of my children come off playtime with a one or a two, which is excellent behaviour. Um, we very rarely get a four, but when we do, we've worked out why it's happened. So from my side, it's made the transition back in from the playground into class really simple because my children are now ready to come back in and learn and staff aren't spending 20 to 40 minutes trying to unpick stupid behaviour before they can actually start teaching. So Waterside uses several methods for helping with behaviour. One of them is our scoring of one to fours and our children are scored throughout the day. Every session of the day is scored, including lunch times and play times. So a one is when a child demonstrates behaviour that is above and beyond what you'd expect your average mainstream child to do, that they're fully engaged, really wanting to learn and they haven't demonstrated any behaviours other than the sort of behaviours you'd hope for. A two is what you'd expect in a mainstream school where they've been compliant, they're getting on with the work, they're able to work with other people. They, they may not be pushing themselves dramatically but they're having a go. A three is usually when they've been a bit verbal so they may be non-compliant um, they may start demonstrating um, behaviours such as pacing around the room or around the playground they may be a bit shoutier, um, but they haven't got to a point where they want to be physical with anybody. And a four is when they've actually got to a point that their anxiety level is really high and that they may try and attack either an adult or another child. Their language will become very colourful. Um, it may become racist or homophobic or sexist. Um, and then we as a school, at the end of the day, unpick all of the ones and fours. So if a child has scored ones, as a team, we try and find out what that was. Why did that child manage to get those ones? And how can we replicate that the following day and then the following day and the following day? If they've got fours, why didn't we notice they were going to a four quickly? It's our fault. We should have been aware of that. And how we can then repair that issue and make certain that they can get to twos and ones the following day. And what All Kids Can did was adopt that with us very quickly. They also adopted our methodology for um, positive handling, which is approach, which the school is a centre of excellence for, so that if our children did become physical, and um, the All Kids Can staff are trained to do exactly the same as we would be um, as teaching staff, um, and we monitor that, and we, we quiz why it's got to that point, the All Kids Can staff are very good at filling in our paperwork and making certain that all of the safeguarding and all of the stuff that a school has to really think about when dealing with children is complete. And um, what I found as a leader is that it's been really useful that 
they are treated as a member of my staff. They are not seen as a separate entity. So my children don't think of the All Kids Can staff as the All Kids Can staff. They think of them as, oh, they're a member of the school team. So that's cut down on that whole problem that some children have of trying to play one side up against the other. They see a consistent approach from us all.